Dan has spent a whole day preparing. He's loaded his magazines. He's made sure he's got all his best gear. He's got a date with death or a date with destiny. It is time to take on the hordes of Louisville. Okay, so here we go. Dan has got his M16 assault rifle. He's got 756 rounds. He's got his katana. He is raring to go. He's going to get out. This could be the beginning of the end, or this could be the start of something beautiful. It is time to launch an assault on the hospital. Somewhere in there is the uh, the third journal, and somewhere everywhere come the zombies. Oh my god, that was crazy. And there's a fire axe there already. This is going to be absolutely insane. We need to take some beta blockers right now. 756 rounds. Will it be enough? It doesn't feel like it right now. Okay, well, Dan needs to start thinning out the hordes. This is just insane. There's still a block away from the hospital itself. It's going to be a bad day to be a zombie. I really hope that is the case. Oh my god. What, what has Dan begun? Oh my gosh, Dan is having... I got a feeling this is going to be an all or nothing day. I got a feeling that Dan is either going to die or he's going to clear out the area. He's going to slaughter hundreds upon hundreds of zombies. Oh wow, will you look at that? Will you look at the amount of zombies flooding into the area? Oh my god, this is terrifying. Okay, we're at the hospital. Dan's changed the firing mode from single to full auto. It does burn uh, the ammo, so I'm not really sure if that is a good option. Now, he's got so much ammo, but it kind of feels like already it is not going to be enough. Okay, well, somehow there is a massive area ahead of him that is completely clear but he turns, turns around and it is a very very different perspective oh my god Dan needs to get a lot better than this well that's the alarm going off and it is certainly very alarming Dan is not being as anywhere near as effective with this M16 assault rifle as he was hoping should we go back from full auto to single fire? Not quite sure what is the best. Okay, we're going to go back to the single fire mode. Hopefully that is going to be a little bit more effective. And we, can, we need to make every single shot count. We look at that horde. This is absolutely insane. Well, things are going okay. It might take all day to whittle down this horde. But whittle down this horde, Dan is doing. He's got this freeway. It seems to be somehow mostly clear. There isn't going to be a beta blocker on Earth that is going to curb Dan's panic, though. Because this is the biggest... Oh, wow. Did you just see that? Did you just see that? I'm marking where that zombie is. There is another katana there okay well dan is gonna try and take another beta blocker see if that will uh, be an effective man how many zombies is dan gonna have to kill today to even get near that hospital okay well dan's gotta try and stay in the same area Oh wow, this is dicey. This is dicey. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Oh no. Oh no, Dan is down. Dan is down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Get up, Dan. Dan. Oh my god. How did they not get him then? I was about to say, he's got to try and stay in the same area that he doesn't keep tra attracting more and more zombies. So that means going back this way. And that really was... I thought that was the end. He's really gone back into the eye of the storm. This, oh my God, he is surrounded. There are so 
many zombies. Well, he's made it to the other end of that horde, but he's kind of feeling like he's got, he doesn't know where he's going to go next. He doesn't want to keep going more and more north because he's just going to draw more and more zombies in. Hey, well, Dan's already gone through 90 rounds and it kind of feels like there's actually more zombies now when it started. Okay, well, Dan is not quite sure what to do right now. It kind of feels like he wants to run away. He, oh, it doesn't, not sure if he's got though, enough sort of space or room to go back the other way, but he doesn't want to keep going north because he's just going to attract more and more zombies. Uh, he needs to try and stay somehow in the same area. Okay, well, Dan is right outside the front of the hospital where you look at that huge horde. It's going to be a long a day. How on earth is Dan going to get through this? Okay, well, he's already exerted. It's because he's carrying so much ammo. He's really overweight. He's encumbered. He's absolutely panicked out of his mind. Things are not going well. Okay, well, Dan's reloaded. Um, oh, he's just panicked out of his mind, the poor guy. He's already really exerted. He kind of feels like he should run away right now. Okay, well, Dan's got a decision to make here. Does he keep going? Or does he draw the huge this huge horde of zombies north and then just run all the way back to his van and get the hell out of here because that's kind of what he feels like he wants to do right now okay well dan has doubled back right in front of the hospital now he must have drawn every single zombie outside of the hospital apart from that dude because there's always another zombie now that is part of the reason why dan is gone in all guns blazing somewhere in that huge hospital there is one tiny teeny little journal so you, it's a death trap if he goes in there and the place is full of zombies it is a death trap so he does need to draw them all out but man he's kind of done too good a job at that i think and again dan has been pushed back all the way to the spiffos now this is right where his vehicle is in fact he can barely remember where his vehicle is he can barely remember his name right now he is panicked out of his mind but we still got 521 shelves there's his vehicle okay that is a good reminder he's still got 521 shelves uh bullets ammo i don't know is there more than is there more than more than 521 zombies? I kind of think there probably is. Okay, well it seems that Dan has come a little bit too far north, uh, and that's just added even more zombies to that huge horde. This is just—it's kind of stalemate at the moment. Oh wow, this is just insane. Okay. I'm calling it Dan is out of here he's running all the way back uh, to his van he needs to regroup he needs to maybe get the shotgun let's get out of here okay we're in luck there are no zombies nearby but man that was insane I mean I probably Dan took out two or three hundred zombies but it could you could barely tell he went through 300 rounds in barely three or four hours and oh, it's just this as he just feels like there's even more zombies than before okay well dan has driven all the way back to his safe zone this is why he wanted to clear this area of zombies so that he'd have somewhere safe to run back to if things went wrong i mean it could have been worse they didn't get near him. He did take out two or three hundred zombies. I mean, how many more hundreds of zombies are there still to take on? What the hell does Dan do next? Well, this is what Dan's doing. He's putting the M16 rifle, uh, assault rifle back in storage and he's going to switch uh, to the shotgun. He's got over 20 boxes of shells. That's over 500 shells. I think he's going to be a lot more effective 
with the shotgun. So let's get tooled up and let's go again. Okay, well, Dan is playing the long game. The important thing is, the paramount thing is, is survival. He doesn't want to throw his life away being reckless. So he's going to go back on foot and he's just going to clear the area entirely. He's going to take on every and any single zombie. Wow, okay, that is a bad start. The hand axe is already broken. Let's just go to the tactical knife, but he's just going to fight his way back north. There could be a good hundred zombies between here and where he wants to get to. In fact, maybe he should just drop all of the shotgun shells. Let's just drop the bag of shells. And let's just go back to good old Melly. Here we go, he's making hard work of it. I mean, I don't know if he's got the strength or the energy, but it's just a matter of time. As long as he can return back to this area, this safe space, this safe area, he should be okay. Okay, well, Dan is ready. He's got his fire axe. It's time to get swinging. Okay, well, Dan is slowly working his way back north. He is taking care of business. He's doing good work with this fire axe, but man, Still so much more work to do. Well, Dan has a fierce determination to keep going. It is getting dark. He is getting exerted. But he, nothing is going to stop him. Okay, it is getting super dark. It is getting difficult to see. It is getting more and more difficult to take down the zombies. But Dan has almost got to where he wanted to get to today. And that is the first turn off. There's a turn off for the restaurant for spiffos let's let's get a little bit of light on the situation let's get the hand torch equipped let's finish this group and then i think it'll be time for dan to go back to his little safe zone and we can go again for tomorrow to go again tomorrow but for now dan's got more work to do okay, what is this uh taking this is a problem with the exertion it takes more and more hits to take down the zombie which means you get more and more tired so it's diminishing return so it's 10 o'clock Dan is going to get tired soon he's got a long walk back uh, to his safe area I think that is going to have to be it for this day but Dan is safe he's okay he's kind of running low on food which is a little bit of a problem I don't know what he's going to do about that at this stage but for now, he needs to get back. He needs to rest so that he's fully prepared to go again tomorrow. Okay, it is the next morning. Dan is refreshed and raring to go. He's got a bag full of shotgun shells. He means business. Let's do this. Okay, well, Dan has walked a long way without seeing a single zombie. This is the turn off for the Spiffos and the Pizza World. And at the moment, it is pretty quiet there are not that many zombies around but i've got a feeling that is gonna change soon enough okay well it turns out that that is not the turn off for the spiffos and pizza world that is farther up so dan has still got some way to go okay so that there to the left that is the turning for the spiffos and the pizza world and it is still surprisingly quiet i've got a feeling that just out of sight just up the highway there's a massive massive mega horde of zombies that is very welcome again some really good timing with the level up now one of the reasons dan has gone in the quiet because he actually does want to get to the spiffo to the pizza world and check them out loot them see if he can find any scraps of food because he's almost completely out of food and it seems just a few days ago he had so much okay well dan's just kind of doing the moonwalk at the moment trying to impress zombies okay that is another couple of zombies taken care of that is about am i in the region of 300 to 350 zombies taken down already and it kind of feels like he's barely scratched the surface. Okay, so here we are at the front of the pizza board and just next door is a spiffo. I really hope that Dan can find a few scraps of food. It has been a quiet, 
quiet start to the day so far. That is definitely going to change this afternoon. Okay, well, there is actually quite a lot of zombies in and around this area. So, that needs to quicken up the pace. So, it's time to get swinging with the fire axe. Oh, wow. Now, that that is a welcome surprise, isn't it? Another fire axe. And it's going to probably need that before the day is out. We've still got a lot of work through. There's a lot of zombies around this area. He wants to make it clear before he goes inside. Make sure it's safe. Okay, well, Dan has made his way to the Spiffos. He hasn't actually gone inside the pizza world yet. Uh, okay, that is a lot of zombies coming. Now, one good, another good thing with clearing this area, clearing the area as he goes, and of course, in a beautiful bit of timing, Dan gets a little bit tired just as he attracts a massive horde. But by clearing this area out just to the south, uh, of the hospital between Dan's safe zone and the hospital. If things get really bad, he knows. Ooh, that was close. He knows that he should be able to escape without too much trouble. Man, that really was a big group of zombies. It's forced all the way back to the pizza world. Okay, almost there now. Just the one. And then Dan needs to have massive rest let's get inside the pizza world let's just no of course there's a couple more zombies first but we need to find some food i think dan has got one can of peas left that is it hey okay, well now dan is high exertion he can barely jog so let's just see if we can find a vehicle just to sit here and just for a little bit of protection Okay, well, somewhat predictably, both of the vehicles that are inside in the car park are locked up tight. He doesn't want to smash the window. He doesn't want to risk setting off any sort of car alarm because that would make things... Well, that just would not be the plan. I can see lots and lots of pizza, rotten pizza. Yeah, absolutely nothing to eat. Okay, well, let's fill up the canteen. Let's have a little bit of rest. And I think it's time, once you've checked out the Spiffo, it is going to be time to break out the shotgun. Okay, well Dan has had his rest, he's back at the Spiffo. Hopefully he can find uh, some sort of food in there, even if it is just ketchup. It is time to get swinging again, it sounds like there is quite a lot of zombies in there. That was close. Here they come. Okay. Okay, well, the zombies just keep coming, and at the moment, Dan just keeps on swinging. He's kind of getting impatient, though. It's nearly three o'clock in the afternoon. He really wants to get on with it and get that shotgun out and really clear the area, really put it to the zombies. But first, he needs to find some food. I really hope he can clear this area without any trouble, without taking too much time. And then we can get in there. Oof, that was close. Okay, we're in. What are we going to find? Well, it looks like Dan is eating ketchup. Nothing but ketchup for the next two or three days. Okay, it is time. Wow, that is loud. That is going to attract the zombies' attention. It is time to stir the hornet's nest again. That is... Man, that was dangerous. That is the Louisville General Hospital. It is just a few hundred yards up ahead, and yeah, here they come. And there they go. Oof, that was close. Well, the area seemed pretty quiet, but they are coming in from all directions. There's just so many zombies, it is just unbelievable. I really hope that things will go a lot better this time with the shotgun. Okay, well, there you go. That hole is getting bigger and bigger by the second. But you can just see, uh, as long as he doesn't run out of ammo, Dan is a lot more effective with the shotgun uh, than uh, with the M16. Who would have thought it? But he can down two or three zombies per shell. And he's got a couple of levels in reloading. So he's feeling really confident right now. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, things are hotting up nicely. There are zombies. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's just double back. Let's not get surrounded. There are zombies coming in from every single direction right now. Man, this is tight. Man, that was close. Dan is quite encumbered at the moment, which means he can't actually run that fast. He needs to just use up some of this ammo. That will lighten the load. Hey, well, that was useful. Okay, well, Dan has actually been balled back quite a long way. But he is absolutely slaughtering the zombies by the dozen in seconds. But the noise of the shotgun is drawing more and more zombies out from the forest area. And he's been forced further and further back. But he doesn't want to do a double back. He doesn't want to do a circle back because there is a massive massive amount of zombies ahead of him and he doesn't want to get surrounded like he did before but there we go you can just see how effective oof, how effective that shotgun is Dan just needs to remember to count to six well it's it's kind of not going exactly as Dan planned because He's been forced further and further back and he was expecting to be fighting right outside the front of the hospital. And right now he's a full block away and he's just drawing more and more zombies into the area. Will you look at that? That is insane. So many zombies. He can't go back north. He's going to have to just continue to go back south and hope that the, uh, the flow of zombies from all around slowly slowly diminishes because at the moment he's been pushed back further and further right into near his uh, safe zone which is not what he wants okay well Dan has just done a little bit of walking around in the hope that things will settle down a little bit he's reloaded his shotgun he's put away his axe and just helped with his ingredients he's kind of got all the zombies in front of him Ooh, that was too close Maybe now we can finally start to whittle down that horde that he's created. Okay, well, Dan has been pushed further and further back, which means he's been pushed into a different zone, which means he's attracting more and more zombies. He didn't want to have to kill every single zombie. But it kind of feels like at the moment that he's going to absolutely have to. Well, this is not going well. We are right on Dan's doorstep now. And uh, yeah, he's just running out of space. He kind of doesn't want to go back any further. But he's just forced to. There's just so many zombies. And here we are, right by his van, right by his truck. Just a few hundred yards away. It's supposed to be his safe zone. And yeah, it's been breached. He has brought all the trouble back to his own doorstep. Okay, it is time for the katana. We can't just keep using the shotgun. It's just making too much noise. It is just drawing more and more zombies into the area. And it's more than Dan can cope with. So, let's get the katana. Okay, here we go. It is time. Oh, and Dan is in a perfect bit of timing. Dan is a little bit tight, so let's just take some. Let's just let's just let's just do it properly. Let's take a load of coffee, get the caffeine flowing. Let's get a hand torch equipped. And let's finally, finally take down this horde. Okay, well here they come. I don't know how long this katana is going to last. We just can't keep using the shotgun. It's just causing too much trouble, making too much noise. And here we go. I kind of feel like now this katana is turning the tide for Dan. Wow, that was that was just crazy. That was definitely definitely the right decision. Uh, I mean, that just absolutely obliterated that horde. The fight back starts now. 
Okay, well, Dan has got a massive task on his hands right now. He's just got to clear out the area. He had visions of him clearing out the hospital by this time right now. And yeah, he's just actually been pushed back further and further. And he's having to fight just to keep this area safe. Okay, well, the, yeah, the flow of zombies has ceased a little bit. The katana has already lost more than half of its condition and is not tired after downing all that coffee. So he's going to continue to push north, but it's, it's time to just put the katana to rest for just a little moment. We're going to keep that back when things are really bad. So it's time for more fire axe swinging. Okay, it is 12.30 in the morning. Dan has been going since about 6 o'clock this morning. He has killed just today by a combination of katana, fire axe, tactical knife, shotgun, all sorts of weapons, over 500 zombies, and he can can't even get an eye on that hospital, let alone get inside and find that journal. Okay, well, it's been a long, lonely walk, and you can see the absolute devastation that Dan has wrought uh, on these zombies, and this. it kind of feels like he's barely just begun. That is the turn for the Spiffos. He just wants to keep going. He knows he's not going to be able to take care of it all today, but he wants to get eyes on that hospital to see how much more work there is to do. Okay, it is getting really, really late now. Dan's in danger of pulling an all-nighter, but there's, he's just not seeing the huge mega hordes that he was expecting. Just a little ways up there, that is the hospital. Maybe he could actually get right up to the front door, and maybe, maybe he's actually taken out most of the zombies. Okay, well, yeah, maybe not. Maybe he hasn't taken out most of the zombies but I think I mean he's nearly there he has killed so many zombies today and he's still got over 500 shells he's still got over well, nearly 500 uh, 556 five, rounds he's going to need a lot of that for some of the bigger challenges ahead but at the moment Dan has faced up do the challenge but he's gonna have to go again another time it is two o'clock in the morning he's gonna start to get tired he is a long way from his safe house from his uh, safe zone he's got a long lonely walk in the dark to get back there but he should be fine i mean there is barely surely barely a zombie left standing in this direction so he should be fine it's gonna have to be it what a roller coaster that was. Dan has killed so many zombies. Ah, there we are. <laughs> wow, okay. That was so lucky just to come across the katana. I probably walked past it just a moment ago and didn't even notice. See it like that in the dark. That is lucky. So Dan's got two katanas added to his huge arsenal, his huge stockpile of guns and ammo. So he can do this. He can do this. We go again tomorrow. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the next episode is out so you can keep up to date with Dan's, well, adventures. Uh, it's crazy the amount of uh, zombie slaying he is after to do, having to do just to progress. Smash that like button, comment, sub if you haven't already. I hope you guys are enjoying this series and I hope you will join me and Dan for the next episode. But for now, that is all. 